Jackson County Sheriff John Ledbetter stands by his earlier statement that the film was confiscated because photographers and reporters, he claims, were interfering with police officers at the site of the shooting. Well, uh, I think that the reason was is for the people, you know, that asked to stand back and did And this was a reason. I know the news media has a right to gather the news, but also in Mississippi is a felony to disobey a command officer uh, at a scene of a crime where a killing or a criminal activity is uh, taking place, too. Well, isn't it the normal procedure then to arrest someone if they don't take place? See, we're trying to figure out why a film was taken instead of someone being arrested. That's, that's what that means. The news media. Well, I, I think the reason the film was taken, it was because interested in the arrest. We were just interested in showing the people that we met when we asked him to stand by. Ledbetter also said that as a Monday morning quarterback, he doesn't know if he would have done the same, that he wasn't aware of the confiscation until after it was over, indicating he may not have been in complete charge. But he says he's going to back his men to the hilt. Today, a reporter for the Mississippi Sun Herald, Mac Dryden, picked up the film taken from him after the shooting. He says all the photographers were behind police lines until after it was all over, when the film was then confiscated. Chuck Stein, publisher of the North Biloxian, didn't have a camera. And he says he, along with several civilians, were allowed close to police lines during the shooting and even rushed to the car after the shooting. He says only those persons with cameras were held and ordered back. WLA TV, along with the Sun Herald and the North Biloxian, are considering filing lawsuits against the Jackson County Sheriff's Department in connection with Friday's incident. John Keffer, Channel 10 Newsbeat.